Hi all, welcome to another session on AI Builder and Power Apps. AI Builder is a power platform capability that provides us with AI models which help us take leverage of the artificial intelligence to optimize our business processes. We can either use the already existing pre-built models or we can create custom AI models and we can take leverage of them in the Power Apps or Power Automate. There are multiple pre-existing models like invoice processing, sentiment analysis, text recognition, text translation, language recognition, which we can use within our Power Apps or even Power Automate to build a builder related implementations. Most often we used to add the AI builder actions within Power Automate to implement the AI builder related actions, but now we have options to use the AI builder directly within Power App so as to leverage the cognitive abilities uh, natively within Power Apps. So in this video, we will see how we can make use of the text recognizer AI Builder model directly within Power App, even without using Power Automate. So the business scenario that we are trying to implement here is we have a requirement where we need to automate the archival of old back office documents by extracting the document content and storing it in a backend like SharePoint library or a list so that they become available for content search within the system. For this requirement, we will create a power app to access the needed manual record inputs and use the text recognizer to automatically extract the scanned document contents and save it in the SharePoint list. As we can see, we have already created a power app. We have added few text controls in addition to the text recognizer in the left side. So these text inputs can be used by the end user to input data related to the document that we are trying to recognize using the text recognizer. And we will be using the digitized records to save the data back to the SharePoint backend. Now we have added the text recognizer by using the AI Builder option as we can see here. There are currently five AI Builder models available. That is a business card reader, receipt processor, form processor, object detector, and text recognizer. So we have added the text recognizer, clicking on it, which will add the control to the screen. And we will be using it to scan the documents, or we can click on new image, which will upload the document. And the text recognizer control will scan that document and get the data from the image. As we can see, the text recognizer is the name of the control we have here trying to find properties that is available. We can see that there are multiple properties out of which results is where the scanned document content will be stored. So we will be using the results.txt to get the uh, extracted content from the image so that we can use it for uh, saving it to the backend. And in the backend, we do have the SharePoint list that is used to store the values in the department subunit, record type, year, and extracted document data columns. As part of the implementation of data extraction, we will add the expression clear collect extracted data text recognizer dot results dot text into the on change of the text recognizer control so that whenever a new document scan copy is uploaded to the control, it analyzes the text and the return results from the dot results dot text property is copied to the collection using the clear collect method. Now we are doing this and copying the data to the collections because we want to actually later combine the data in the collection together using a delimiter and save it to SharePoint list. Now we will see like how the data is being extracted from the text recognizer because the text recognizer extracts the data line by line and we need to actually have it as a single paragraph if you want to actually store it back to SharePoint. So we will quickly see a demo of how it works so that we will get to understand how the data is being stored back into the collection by previewing the app. Click on new image and we'll just head over to data.png and now an on change has happened and ideally whatever data is extracted from the dot results dot text should be saved to the collection. Now we can see like uh, this is a post processed data from the collection. We can see that this is a paragraph, but unfortunately the text recognizer extracts the results line by line, which we need to actually combine into a single paragraph. To do that, we are actually copying it into a collection. So if we just close it and go to the collections, we can see that 
the text is being taken as line by line and uh, it's not actually you know extracted as a single paragraph but it's uh, line by line extraction which has happened uh, using the text recognizer control now we need to actually combine the entire uh, line by line representation into a single paragraph which we will do using an expression for which we have added an html text control in the text section we have an html text control which we have added and we are using the concat expression to combine the collection data using a delimiter that is the new line so that the entire lines in the collection will actually be concatenated using a br tag so that they appear as a single paragraph line by line this way it will actually look like a paragraph and we can save the entire data back to sharepoint list and what we are doing in the digitized records is like we are using the patch function and we are using it to save the data to the back office archival list where we are getting the extracted data from the html control which is basically the combined uh, full formed paragraph text from which is we are concatenating based on a new line character which we have extracted using the text recognizer control then we are saving the department subunit and even the few other values we have inputted in the controls here so let's uh, run the app and see how it works in action we have already uploaded the the document here it has extracted the data line by line which is copied into a collection and from the collection we use concat expression to concatenate the entire data into a paragraph data and clicking on digitize records we will save the data to the backend sharepoint list which we can see by going to the uh, backend and we can see that now it has extracted the data and we can see the data in the sharepoint list as an item so this way we can use the text recognizer ai model within power apps without having to use power automate uh, in between to do the ai model extraction of data so it becomes quite easy that we don't have to depend on another technology just with power apps we can use ai builder to extract the data from uploaded images for implementing some business scenarios just like this where we want to implement a back office uh, document archival process so that's a bit about the demo of using ai builder text extraction model within power apps and in the upcoming videos we will see how we can use further more implementations of ai builder within power apps stay tuned for another video and thanks for watching